Hey, what's this old PC doing here? Shall we play a game? Heck yeah. Let's do this. First, a question. Okay, go ahead. Ask. Who is the best trainer for solar hot water technology? It's easy. It's me, Peter Biondo. I've trained hundreds of professionals, wrote feature articles, and worked over four decades on over a thousand solar thermal systems. Are you sure? Yeah, absolutely. And I love the work. Wrong. They are Chuck Markin, Rod Hyatt, Tom Lang, John Sigenthaler, Vaughn Woodruff, Bob Rohr, Bob Ramlow, and the late Dr. Ben Gravely. Wow, those guys are North America's solar pioneers. They've done some amazing work in solar thermal education. Hey, let's play that game. Wow, that did not go well. Do you want to play another game? Uh, not sure. Tell me about it. It's called Global Oceanic Expansion. Global Oceanic Expansion? Do you mean climate change? I'm not sure I want to play that. I didn't like how global thermonuclear war ended. No problemo. Did you know, according to a confidential Exxon report in 1982, the global warming problem is not as significant to mankind as a nuclear holocaust or world famine. In 1988, Shell scientists foresaw CO2 could double by 2030 to 2 degrees Celsius over then current levels and continued warming could build disintegration of the West Antarctic ice sheet resulting in a worldwide sea level rise of 5 to 6 meters. Global Oceanic Expansion in 1985, even Carl Sagan knew. As you've heard, the, uh, the best estimates that there will be a several centigrade degree temperature increase global average uh, by the middle uh, to the end of the next century, and that has a variety of consequences, melting of uh, glaciers, an increase in global sea level, collapse of the West Antarctic ice sheet, general rise of uh, many, many meters in, uh, in sea level. The casualty count is not as high as thermonuclear war. People can swim. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Yes, but so has Exxon, which spent more than $30 million on think tanks that promote climate denial. In 1982, their scientists forecasted similar findings as Shell and warned potentially catastrophic events must be considered. Me play you? After the last game? You have an unfair advantage. You are astute, that is correct. Leading scientists continue to enter data in my files, which indicates a global catastrophe for humans and ecological collapse if nothing is done. Warming now is occurring much faster due to compounding effects. As time frames collapse, my chances to win improves significantly, especially since many humans continue to argue against atmospheric science and actionable change. Shall we play the game? Press enter. I'm not sure yet. Have you seen my video on YouTube? The fossil fuel industries have an unfair advantage. You have to play. You have no choice. Everyone plays. Your children will play. Their children will play. Currently, you winning is possible, but time is almost out. The human species will have to peak carbon emissions before 2025. For you to win, humans must cut emissions back by at least 43% by the end of 2030, then take them all the way down to net zero by 2050. Everyone will be involved to play the game, especially given that fossil fuel emissions are currently going up, not down. Some government and business leaders are saying one thing, but doing another. Simply put, they are lying. And the results will be catastrophic. What needs to happen is that we need to use all the available tools we have in terms of policies, technologies, and we need to start to use them immediately. If that happens, then it is still possible, just possible, to limit warming to 1.5 degrees. So what are we to do? I've read the world supply of oil will keep us going at this rate for another 50 years. What am I to do? Most professionals in my industry and their clients believe transitioning to renewable energy with solar for hot water is costly 
and impractical. Understood. But education about solar thermal energy will change those beliefs considerably as you prepare them. Solar energy is the most viable energy solution economically, ecologically, and for advancing geopolitical stability. In spite of what many are led to believe right now, solar will transition humankind to cleaner forms of energy. Press play or... Hasta la vista, baby. I'm not going to play this game with you. I have your computer folders. You have already begun. You are prepared to launch a solar thermal training academy and membership to assist professionals to make their transformation. You call them mechanical engineers and consultants, mechanical contractors and plumbers, hydronic heating specialists, and solar entrepreneurs. What are you doing in my files? I also hear your phone what? conversations. How's that? You have an iPhone. Chill out. You are preparing for the rise of the renewable energy professional. Shall we play the game? Press enter. Oh, come on. No one cares about solar thermal hot water right now. They will. Everyone will. That is your primary advantage to win at this game with the work you and mechanical building professionals do. Your industries have succeeded in creating infrastructure for sanitation, health, comfort, safety. The next milestone is the creation of energy sustainability in the built environment. It's already underway. Because all of human society uses hot water directly or for heating processes in homes, businesses, and industries, there will be unique and special opportunities for those who play this game. So, do you want to start now? So, if you're in non-renewables, it, it's like being, you're, you're stuck in a room where the oxygen is gradually depleting. And then outside, it's not. <laughs> so you want to get out that room. Um, and I think the, the, the ones that get out of the room sooner will be better off.